Okay, is it going? Yep, it's on. See, uh, okay, right. I'm start recording that time. I'm gonna close it. Uh, I'm gonna close both at three. Okay, thanks. <clears throat> okay, so I read his. <laughs> okay. Okay. Bye. Okay, yeah, it's not, it's not the audio. Okay. Okay, <clears throat> test, 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 test. Oh, wonderful. Test, testing, testing. Nice. Okay, okay let's go. It. Hi, guys. Hi, what's up, guys? Welcome to Spa. Yeah, it's our first episode. So, do you want to tell us how Spa came about? Okay, so we are your new campus radio deputy directors. Um, yeah. Your director should be somewhere here, but unfortunately, he's not feeling so well. Yeah. So he will be here next week. He's down with a sore throat, and we wanted him to stay, but he insisted on walking out on us. Yeah, because hearing someone cough on video is super annoying, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we just want to do this because, you know, Campus Radio has been a little bit slow, mm. and that's not what we're going for, okay? We, we signed up to be the exclusive so that we could do something about this. Yeah, so it's our new term, and as you can see, we are pretty excited about the new term. Yeah. And I think it's quite natural, being when when you just when, when every time we first start out something, we tend to be very enthusiastic and want to do it. So we have to we have to get this going, like keep the ball rolling until the end of the term. For sure, yeah. and I mean, if you're gonna start anything any at any time, it should be in the beginning of our term, right? And yes. it's close enough to the beginning of the year that it's going to be okay, you know? Mm-hmm. And also, the main reason, like the main motivation of how we started this is it actually came from an email. Yeah, an email from a certain SMU student Yeah. Uh, that told us that it would be really nice to hear something in the mornings that they can listen to. It's kind of like inspirational, but it helps them go through the day. And we received that when we first became like deputy directors. And that's incredible, dude. Like, we didn't, we, I mean, most of us think that no one's listening to us and we're just kind of like talking to each other here. But it's really nice to know that we have at least one fan out there who's excited for campus radio and all it has to offer. Um, so we're going to go stalk that person right now. And we're going to just give you guys a little bit of a background of who this person yeah. is. We're not going to mention their name. But we will give you enough information that you might be able to find out who it is. Okay, but... SMU has so many people, so I doubt you this guys will be true. able to find it. But if you're listening out there, I'm sure you know who, who, who you are. Who we are talking about. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, yeah, so, Phoebe's going to stalk them on Facebook. I think that's the easiest way. Okay, so I have her on my Facebook no names, no names. profile. Yes, no names. She's a, she's a female. Yeah, she's <laughs> a female. Of <laughs> course. <laughs> okay, so she's studying in SMU, and she used to be from... ACJC. Yeah, ACS was up. Okay, I was supposed to be an ACS boy too, so represent. <laughs> the best is yet to be, y'all. Yeah, and she used to be from Paya Lipa Methodist Girls School. Yeah, oh, sure. Yeah. yeah. So, it also says that she she's from Harvard Medical School, which is not true because <laughs> she's at SMU right now. So, <laughs> there's a lie. Um, yeah, so she is from Singapore, gang, Singaporean. Gang. And in a relationship. Ooh, with a certain somebody that we couldn't find because, gotta be sure, we were looking. Okay, yeah. we tried. We tried to find, but. Oh, the my relationship God. Was wait, somewhat, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait. Oh. No, this is past relationship. Wait, this. So. Really? Yeah. No, it's not. I swear. It's 2012. She was in a relationship <laughs> no, with. No, no, no names. With a girl. No names. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. So that. Okay. Can work both ways. It could work both ways, yeah. but um, we're just gonna go with <laughs> she's in a relationship, so uh, neither Amrit or myself will get any of your ideas. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure Santosh was thinking about it. No, but I mean, it's always it's always good to know who's who's in the pond, you know? Potential. Who's, yeah, because they always say there are a lot of fishes in the pond, mm-hmm. fish in the pond, and it's good to know who these fish are. So, huh? are you saying that she's a fish? Uh, isn't everyone isn't everyone a fish no some of the fish we some of monkeys. the fish are just taken yeah don't monkeys do the fishing <laughs> hey <laughs> oh my god okay, okay anyways, thanks to on. you thanks to you for sending this email to us um we really appreciate it and if it wasn't for you we probably wouldn't be doing this so yeah, yeah. you can be sure that we're trying to get as many of our members to kick out regular podcasts going on forward and yeah we just want to have fun with this and give you guys something that you guys want to listen to with lots of bantering. Lots of bantering. Uh, hopefully quite comedic. 
bantering as well. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try our best, okay? Um, anyways, this is going to be a straight cut, right? So we're not going to do any editing, which is what like we usually do. Um, our training consists of us editing audio. But we're going to try and do this so that it's just content-based and it's just like humor-based and it's just relational. Uh, we think it'll be a lot more fun and it'll be a lot easier on us as well so that we can still churn out content without having to like spend time sitting in, uh, in front of a computer editing all of it. It will, There'll still be some editing going on so that it doesn't sound like painful to your ears or like, you know, the video is um, mm-hmm. not like overexposed anything like that. But yeah. mostly it'll just be simple. Yeah. And you can see like we have our shield there so it'll be our trademark. That's our trademark. Yeah, that's our trademark. We don't know who it belongs to it just kind of sits here. Yes. And, and also a shout out to Campus TV Yeah. for lending us the camera and helping us set it up. Yeah, we really appreciate it. Yeah, because usually we only do podcasts at Sia, and now we want to do a little, like, vlog, so this is really nice, yo. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. So, shall we continue on with the uninspiring quote of the week? Yeah, so that's going to be the first segment, the first kind of thing that we talk about, uh, where we just look up online for an uninspiring quote, and see yes. why someone said it, who said it, and then, yeah. I have one, context. I have one. Okay. Okay. So... I think the I think the 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 worst one uh, it is by Arnold blah, 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 girl. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, Schwarzenegger. Sorry. Let's say that one more time. Arnold. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger. Terminator himself. Schwar- Schwarzenegger. Also, um, like senator of California. Oh, is it? Yeah, he's a big dude. Okay, he said it. He said in twen- twen- twenty o three. Twenty o. <laughs> 2003 2003 Okay 2003 Okay so I think that was before He became a senator He was still an actor mm. back then He said I think that gay marriage Is something that Should be between A man and a woman What a star man What A star Like you I'm know right He is woke You know <laughs> You know he knows exactly What he's talking about Exactly what he's saying And talking. he's in full support Of Whatever family values this this <laughs> represents. I have no idea what he's talking about, actually. Like, yeah. seriously. So do you, wait, do you think he's for gay marriage or he isn't? Hmm. I think that he just doesn't know what he's talking about. And he probably... Okay, wait. To be fair, maybe what he's trying to say is that I think that gay marriage is something that should be between a man and a woman. That makes no sense. Right, because it's in between. <laughs> that, makes, that, that makes no sense. Okay. Because it's either that, oh, um, I think marriage should be between a man and a woman, which in case he's not supporting gay marriage, right? Right. Which, I mean, right. he's allowed to do, okay, whatever. He's an individual, he's allowed to do that. Or he's, I, he's supposed to say, I think gay marriage should be between men and... But there's no reason to say that it should be between men and a man. You know? Yeah. Because that's isn't that right. understood. But apparently not, lah. Right? But I think he, he, he got it all wrong. Yeah. yeah, the definition, he got it all wrong. He's just confused. Yeah. Okay, I have another good one. Paris Hilton, she said, No, no, I didn't go to England. I went to London. See, Paris Hilton has never been um, the standard oh for intelligence. Uh, let's, just, let's just make that clear. Yeah. They even had to like parody her on Sweet Life for Zack and Cody. You know, like, she is, she's the running joke. Hey. No, I think that she didn't learn subsets in secondary school. I'm sure I learned subsets in secondary school, but <laughs> I don't remember it. And that's okay. Okay, <laughs> but you just need to, like, watch TV <laughs> to know where, like, where London is and where the UK is. I didn't go to Singapore. I went to Bedok. Hey, she was trying to be specific. She's, okay, she's, I understand her now. I understand. I understand. No, but... Mm, I feel her. Oh, right. She's yeah. like, no, 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 I didn't visit the whole of the UK. Yeah. I only went to London. Yeah. Right? She doesn't want the rest of them to feel like they're being, like, generalised. <laughs> I, I get it. I didn't go to SMU. I went to the CR studio. Uh, I didn't go to SMU. I went to the School of Business. Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> See, look at you giving, giving Paris Hilton some props. Oh, my God. You, I don't know. If you're ever going to take any advice um, from anyone... I'm just going to pray that it's not from Paris Hilton because oh she God. does not give good advice, folks. She does not give good advice. I have an even worse one. Okay, okay. We're going to do this. Last one, last one. Yes, Let's do the last, last one. one. Okay. Mariah Carey said, 
whenever I watch TV and see those poor starving kids all over the world, I can't help but cry. I mean, I'd love to be skinny like that, but not with all those flies and death and stuff. Flies and death and, and stuff. stuff. Oh, what a wonderful human being. Mariah Carey is... Okay, Mariah Carey is like... Second to Beyonce up there in terms of... I want to listen to your voice as I go to sleep. You know? <laughs> she is such a beautiful, beautiful human being. But clearly... On the same level as Paris Hilton when it comes to like... Foot and mouth disease. Just not knowing how to like... Not say whatever goes through yeah. your mind. Exactly. I think that they should at least try to filter out filter yeah. what they say first and, and especially since they are celebrities and people who look, who look up uh, people look up to them so I think there's no excuse there's no excuse dude what would you ever say yeah. oh I want to be as skinny as that person who's dying exactly. I mean it, it just kind of shows that they have mm, like EQ empathy and it's such a, like a skewed version of yeah of like situations like such a cute version of a problem in the world like yeah. people dying of hunger it's not funny exactly. okay, I'm only laughing because it's stupid yeah. it's not funny at all but yeah, no, 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 you're, you're not uh, you're laughing only because you're you're Santosh you're smiling because you're Santosh I mean no, Santosh I always serious. smiles and and he he's just very jolly and that time during our first podcast because we we partnered when we were what, the little trainees. little trainees. Yeah, little trainees. So he was my co-host. I said partner. trainees, not trainees. I'm just gonna put that out there. I'm so sorry, but <laughs> the thought came to my mind. And so then he said that his name Santosh. What did it, what does it mean? It means joy yeah, and means happiness joy. in Tamil. In Tamil, yeah, in Tamil. Yeah, and I try to exemplify that emotion wherever I go. Yeah, he's a he's a living, he's living his his name. Living to his name. Yeah, I try my best. You know, you know who else lives to their name? Who? Serene. Oh. You know, like our our yeah. our honorary sec. She's yeah. honorary gen- general general secretary. secretary. Yeah, she's yeah. okay. She's a wonderful first year student, right? Whose name is Serene, and she's it's honestly the cute. most. She's honestly the most serene person I've ever met. <laughs> You know, like we're both going through AMT training right now, and AMT is like your hosting thing, so like all your FOC hosts, yeah. Yeah, artist management and team. Yeah, and she's there too, and she's just got the most like soothing voice that you just want to listen to. Yeah. And when she sits down, she sits down to she sits down with like a hand on her laps, like oh, in like, a perfect yeah. like photography position. <laughs> when she walks, so she walks cute. in this like really graceful straight. She's. She's so like. Poised. Yeah, and and you know? she's part of uh, campus radio as well. Yeah. So we can try to get her and come and. We should. You guys need to listen podcast. to her voice at some point. It's just yes. it's a whole nother level of like. Poisonous. Poison. Poisonous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. Do I live to my name? Do you live to your name? What does what Phoebe sound? Okay. What does I, Phoebe I, mean? I need. I have to find it. It means something like, um, bright or something. Ah, bro. Okay, Phoebe meaning no. Phoebe. I mean, if you can Google it any slower, please, <laughs> please do. Okay, it means okay behind the name meaning. Whoa, whoa, what? It's like ghost name. No, that's it. An American tyrant flycatcher. Hey, that's what Google wait. said. Meaning and history. Um. Okay, it says that Phoebe is a moon goddess. Ooh. Ooh. And moon goddess. Okay, don't say anything else. Okay, wait, wait, wait. It's else the wrong moon one. Goddess. Um, anyway, Athena's Athena moon goddess. Sorry, but did did we actually introduce ourselves? I can't remember anymore. Probably not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. How long is this? After fifteen minutes of talking, we forgot to introduce ourselves. <laughs> What's up, guys? As you can tell, we don't do this on a regular basis, and. <laughs> We're as new to this as you guys are. So, I'm Santosh. Yeah, Santosh. <laughs> and I am Phoebe. And my name means joy. <laughs> and her name means... My name m- means Radiant, the Shining One. The Shining One. A mythological, biblical, Shakespearean, and... Selinger. I'm gonna 
pretend I know how to pronounce okay, that. Okay, it says the warm and captivating Phoebe was given a boost in popularity by one of the friends. Oh, right, they're referring oh, to like the friends. friends. Yeah. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I have no idea, I've never watched it. What? And you know, there was this person who once told me, hey, Phoebe is a really, really special name until it was shown in Friends. So it's not special anymore. Dude, but Phoebe is like one of the most loved characters on Friends. Really? Yeah. yeah. She's incredible. She like sings music and she's really like quirky and just generally very lovable. She's just a nice person. Okay. So I don't I don't understand why they would say something like that. But okay, so like the fun fact is that I only got the name Phoebe when I was twelve. Yeah. So I did pulled it into my my law my lawful name. Yeah. My name Wait, in the so law. Yeah. What were you for the first twelve years of your life? My name is Isil. Isil. Yi Xiu. Yi Xiu. What? Is it Chinese? Is it Mandarin? Ye, okay, so it's Y I. Y I. X I. X I. U. Yi Xiu. Yeah! Okay. Wow, that's actually really accurate. I try my best, dude. Anyway, that's really accurate. Because, yeah. like, people say Yi Xiu, Yi Xiu, the name comes T Shu, and. Oh, yeah. so it's Phoebe, like, um. Wh- where, where, did, where did that come from? Okay, so. What what happened was, um, my sister was really into friends, and then she was like, "Hey, uh, let me name you, uh, Phoebe, and I'll be Paige." Okay. Okay. So that was just like, uh, when we were young, we were, we were really really little, and then after that, um, as times went as times went by, my sister started giving herself really weird English names like, Jessica Elizabeth. So she just keeps changing. Yeah, yeah, she keeps changing. <laughs> and then, How old is your sister? She's older two years older than me. Okay. Yeah. So my mom got really fed up and she's like, okay, no, I'm going to give both of you an English name. Yeah. So my sister, she became Crystal. Okay. And I swear, she, she never, she never like, uh, see what, like the Phoebe name. She has never heard, heard of it before. Your mother. Yeah. She has never heard of it before. Okay. So she was scrolling through the dictionary with all the names, right? And she said, oh, this name sounds really good. And it's Phoebe. Oh, it's- that's super cool! Yeah. Dude, that's very cool! I think it's fated. How did I, how did, how, how have I not, like, I honestly, honestly, I didn't know about this until we were doing this. Yeah, okay? yeah, honestly. I, I, ha- obviously, I don't go around telling everybody, yeah, so, exclusive. <laughs> that's really cool! Like, you know, if you ever did, like, two truths and a lie, that would be such a dope thing to oh, put yeah, down. Because, yeah, like, true. I've only been Phoebe for, what, nine years, eight years? Yeah, around. I've only been Phoebe for eight years. That's a, that's, everyone would be like, what? You know, that's, that's dope. Oh wow! Yeah, and it's pretty cool to think that you are actually named after the Friends character because I'm such a Friends like fan. But and it's also like, really weird that you have, you don't watch Friends. No, I don't watch Friends. That's it, a problem. But honestly, what I think is that when people have a name like a new name, they kind of like how they say they they live to it. So right, it, they live up to it. Like they, yeah, like yeah. for example, I wasn't Phoebe. Uh, before I was Phoebe, I was someone that's like. Uh, like a little different and okay. then after when I got my name and it just comes very, really naturally to like as people call you Phoebe Phoebe then you feel like and you look back at the meaning and it's like oh I actually am that radiant one oh, this thing yeah? yeah am I radiant? I think so <laughs> I think there's a lot of energy in there and it really comes up huh. um, yeah. yeah if there's a comment section in whatever that we are posting this on tell us is Phoebe radiant? <laughs> <laughs> but, I think like yeah. Usually, if my my friends might think so. Okay. Might. I mean, chances are people have stopped listening because we are what like 18, 18 minutes yeah, now, oh and goodness. until fourteen, they didn't even know our names. Exactly. So. <laughs> oh my god, Amrit is going to be like, "Hello, what are you two doing?" <laughs> okay, but I promise Amrit will be here tomorrow. Uh, next week. Yeah, in she's our just got next better. Episode. Um, we actually, okay, I kind of like had the intro scripted out and we were supposed to say our names but we just kind of like went off and just kind of did it on our own. Yeah. Um, I think we were pretty nervous even though we might not look like we are. I don't know. Mm. Like, okay. I don't know, I don't feel nervous. Gosh, is never nervous. Uh, this is, I mean, okay, I, I stress but I try not to get nervous. You know, I kind of like just enjoy it. Enjoy life as it goes. Mm-hmm. You know? Oh. What's the point of stressing out? Like, like before you're gonna do something like before a presentation or whatever, there's no point, dude. Just wing it. Yeah. If it doesn't go well, go oh well. That is true. You yeah. should preach that. I mean, you totally preach that. I preach it all the time. I tell mm-hmm. it to everyone I can. 
I can. Yes. In general. <laughs> okay, since we are reaching our 20th. Twin. We 20th. should probably wrap this up. Oh my up. god, I said 20th. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Reach our 20th minute. I think we should like talk about what events broadcast and entertainment has. Yeah, plug plug. We're gonna. For the next coming week. Yep. Yeah, excitingly, we have our first like major event that's solely by BE called the 48 hour yeah, competition. First one this year. The oh. first BE event this year? Yes. Yes. This year. First. And the second ever 48 hour. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So it's this like competition where they give you a theme. Sorry. Yeah, make all the noise you want to be. Okay. It's this competition where they give you a theme and you have to storyboard. So you have to plan. Um, you have to shoot, act it out, and edit and submit all within 48 hours. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, it, it just sounds incredible and I would be part of it if I wasn't so busy. Oh yeah. Um, okay. But yeah, it's something that you guys should go and check out. If yeah, if you can, it starts on Friday and it ends on Monday. So the finale will be on Monday, and you guys should go look it up. It's gonna be super cool. There's gonna be prizes, and I, uh, last I checked, there were six yeah. teams that had signed up. So that's pretty cool. We mm-hmm. only had four last yeah last year. So and I, I feel that it's, every year. it's a really good experience because it's it's like. You don't really get... I mean, there will be such competitions out there. But in this... Like... In this SMU context with like SMU students. And we are all trying to live our passion. And try things out. Even if we might not be really good at it. We are trying it out. Experiencing things. Discovering ourselves. And all these just adds up to your SMU experience. Yeah, and we have some really talented seniors who give out like workshops and stuff. Before mm-hmm. the competition started, so I know they did some last week, and I think they're gonna do some more this week, where they teach out like edit and storyboard and all these kind of things. So it's really great for people who are just kicking off. Um, it's free to sign up for. Mm-hmm. So, it yeah, it really is just you experiencing something new. Um, and you might get prizes. Exactly. I heard it's like when you win, you get it's a couple hundred dollars worth of stuff. Yeah, yeah. hundreds dollars. We got quite a sponsor. I know dollars. we got like Media Corp and stuff that are sponsoring mm. us. So, yeah, definitely worth checking out. Um, yep. Maybe if, since sign ups are closed, I'm pretty sure. Just check it out this year and sign up next year, yo. Yeah, just support the teams. Support BE. Yes. Support your dreams. Support your dreams. Okay, <laughs> okay so anything else? else to add? Yeah, um, so I'm, I'm in a musical and the show is in just over five weeks, just under five weeks. Just about five weeks. Okay, it's on March 11th. And tickets are going out today. Um, you'll probably only receive this. Like, I don't know when you guys... I, I, I don't it, even I know when we're going to post this. I got the email. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it, and it tells us to sign up. And also, people are posting it on the groups. Yeah, yeah. To tell people to sign up because it's early bird promotion. The thing is, I don't even know when this is this is going to go out. Okay, um, <laughs> we'll try to post this as soon as possible. Yeah, so we're filming this on a Monday. Yeah. Okay, Monday. we don't know when this is going to go up. But we're going to film this on a Monday. Wednesday? Hopefully. Tuesday? Wednesday? Yeah, hopefully sometime this yeah. week. Yeah. We are gonna... Cre- we, we have a CR ch- uh, YouTube channel, right? Yes. And we have a SoundCloud. Mm-hmm. Yeah. SoundCloud, guys. Yeah. So we're probably gonna put this up on YouTube and SoundCloud. So the audio will go up on SoundCloud and the video and audio, of course, will go up on YouTube. And you guys can check out wherever you wanna check out. Mm-hmm. Or you can go to our website, smube.com and you can... And the links are all there. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Yeah, so buy tickets to my show. Uh, first of all. Shamelessly. Uh, and then go check out our Spotify and our SoundCloud. And no, not our Spotify. Our SoundCloud and our YouTube. No Spotify. No, no Spotify. No Spotify, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, as of yet. Yeah. Um, but that's and, another thing we're trying to work on. So yeah. we might just have a Spotify in a, in a while. And let's go and support Santosh because he's the acting director. Yeah, acting director, actor. Um, yeah, he's like also, ups there. Also, ups have there. A, also has a song. <laughs> Uh, if you want to laugh at me live in person, that would be a great way to do it. Are you going to sing to us? Yes. Next week? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> that, you have to buy tickets to come see me sing, fam. Spend some money. Hey, you should give us like a sneak peek. A sne- I don't know yeah, if I can yeah. do that. But we do have a trailer out. So oh, okay, fine. Go check that out. I will see what I can do. Mm-hmm. But yeah, let's have fun with this. So hopefully this goes out this week. Uh, Alibaba tickets go out, go out this whole week. week. Okay, this will go out this week. Yeah, this will go out this week. Because um, next week we have our episode two. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we're we gonna, try and do this like a weekly thing. Yeah, we don't know when exactly. We were going to try and do it on a Monday, but I don't know, dude. I don't know. Mm-hmm. 
We'll figure it out. Okay, yes, once yes. you have a system going, it will start rolling forward. But as of now, we just want to get out something as soon as possible. We're the twenty fifth second, twenty uh, fifth minute. Twenty fifth minute. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we should really wrap up. We should wrap okay. it up. We're the fifteenth B X co. I'm Santosh. I'm Phoebe. Amrit is somewhere here. Yeah, somewhere. And together we are Spa. Spa. Okay. No, no, no. We should try that again. We are Spa. 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 <laughs> okay. Uh, we come from SMU Broadcast and Entertainment. This is Campus Radio. Say, say what, what you, you want to say. say. Yeah. Okay. Wow. <laughs> That's so long, dude. Yes. <laughs> 25 minutes, 20 seconds.